Who is John Dortmunder, and why is this character so loved by your many fans? Why they love him, I don't know. I, I finally figured out who he is. Uh, he's, he's my own worst fears when I get up in the morning. He's everything that can go wrong, uh, which, is, which is why I say that I'm a, I am a realistic writer and everybody else is a romantic writer, because uh, for all of us, something goes wrong in the course of the day. All of your characters have their own special appeal. What magic formula have you come up with that has allowed you to create these kind of characters? I don't know. That's hard to, hard to say. All I know is that, that I tend to write about people that I would either like to hang out with or at least observe. Like the Dortmunders, I just, that's like going down to the corner bar when I write a <laughs> novel about Dortmunders. So you've written five successful screenplays. You've been nominated for an Oscar for The Grifters. Mm -hmm. You've written more than 65 books. This is quite an accomplishment. Where do you find your greatest pleasure? Oh, the greatest pleasure is in writing a novel, is in, is in working out the novel, writing it, you know, first draft, finding, finding where the story goes, uh, uh, making myself laugh like an idiot at the typewriter, uh, say, oh, oh, Lord, if that happened, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Do you laugh when you write your screenplays? Uh, not exactly, but I know when I was, when I was working on The Grifters, uh, uh, I was about halfway through the first draft, and Martin Scorsese produced that. Stephen Frears directed it, but Martin Scorsese produced it, and and he called and 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 said, "How's it coming along?" And I and I said, "I'm doing damage on every page." <laughs> uh, that was fun. I knew, yeah. and I knew I was. <laughs> I love the way you've described yourself as a writer, and you say that you are somewhere in the mystery genre doing something I shouldn't be doing. If this is the environment I'm in, I'm going to shape it to myself. I'm not just going to follow on lockstep with what everybody else is doing. So this, that's when the stories began to turn a little weird. Books get away, you know, and uh, the, the cops don't solve anything. I, I love to have a story, and by the end of the story, the cop has completely got it wrong. You were born in Brooklyn. You spent the last 34 years living here in New York City. Has New York living influenced your writing style? Oh, I think it has to have, yeah. When you walk out the door, the world is available to you, and uh, that, that keeps you going. Uh, it, it also, I think, uh, keeps you from getting too small in your work.